What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Squad Creative Podcast. Man, we brought y'all another special guest. We talking DTF today, so we gonna get into it. I'm Seek Paris. You can follow me at Twelve Gone Apparel on all your social medias. I'm gonna let my co-host introduce himself. And I'm Mike Tease, uh, the other half of Squad Creative Podcast. You can find me at Mike Tease on all social media platforms. And today we are rocking with Gerald from Merch Studios. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Right on, right on. Man, Gerald, you come with high recommendation, man. Shout out Screen Printer Mike, Odyssey Rock, and a few others. I said oh, wow. we need to Thank get you. you on this show, man. So um, we just, I'm going to jump into it, please, before we get started. Can you just give them a brief history of who you are and what you do? Hi, my name is Gerald. I own Merch Studio, and uh, we do direct film transfers. Uh, we also have a family T-shirt business, uh, which we actually started with that one. Uh, that one uh, we've been doing for two years now, and uh, my son is the face of the business. And you know, uh, if y'all get him on here, I'll, uh, uh, he I, I can let him talk more about uh, how he got into social media and how he got the following that we uh, that he has. Uh, but he's the face of the business. We do the back end. We do all the problem solving. And then January, we had this DTF printer, and uh, one of our friends was like, "Well, why don't you sell uh, direct?" A hundred thousand views, which wow. so like it just honestly, I tell people like I obviously there's a lot of strategy involved in YouTube, but some of it is just the luck of the draw, and I hate to like make it so like abstract, but we don't even always know why we blow up, and sure. so it's hard to replicate. You know, it's hard to tell people. But like, that's just how it happens sometimes. The person that I want to be in this life before my journey's done operates at a very, very, very high level. It is nonstop. It is serving others. It is just nonstop blessings, like everywhere I go. And that person, when, when you look at that person, like, what does that person do on a daily basis? How does this person act? How does, what does this person eat? How does this person interact with people? What type of bank account does this person have? What kind of car does this person drive? How does this person dress? What does their facial features look like? Like, what does that person's body look like? What are they just everything, everything. And one of the habits that that person has is reading every single day and learning something new every single day. Mm -hmm. So that is why, because of who I want to be, I do that now. And that's becoming the fabric of who I am. So once I had the idea in my head, I'm like, ah, okay, now. There's no machine that could do this. There's no machine that could do that. Like, you can't break that machine apart. Like, you can't start with just one and make it to 100. I'm like, yeah. Yeah, right. fractals. Fractals is going to be able to do that because that's where I started. I started with a one uh, one station, four color. Oh. Like, that's where a lot of us start. I didn't know I was going to be here 12 years later, like, still printing, mm -hmm. making a machine. I didn't know I was going to invent a machine when I first started. Yeah, but I got in the machine. It was like, man, this shit is. It needs to be better. Like, <laughs> like that's yeah. actually what I was going towards because now you you envisioned it and then you built it, man. Like you had your time, man. People don't think like that. Some folks do. I'm not gonna say everybody don't think like that, but the majority of people that I've come across, yeah. they don't think like that. They don't envision like that. Like that's. Yeah. Genius level, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 something out of the box completely. I'm thinking of screen printing. I'm thinking of grabbing the traditional screen print. You thought of a whole new way to do screen printing. Not just thought of it, you brought it to life with your creation. And you know, that's I got to give you flowers, man. In other words, that's what I'm, I'm leading up to because that's something you just don't see or you don't hear about a lot. Just give me your flowers. Period. Not to mention to challenge comfortability, what people are used to. You you yeah. you went above and beyond the average. You just go follow me over here. Da da da. It's just like from zero and just started posting content just to kind of see if the information that I was gonna be talking about, like if people would be attracted to it, you know. And at first it was kind of slow, man. Like to get that first 100 because if you're talking about something people usually look at your followers and be like let me see how much follower he got yeah. you know and i'm like yo I, I know a decent amount because you know i've learned a lot you know but 
the followers, it took me a while. Like once I got out of the hundreds, then it just started kind of like picking up little by little two followers a day. And now like the page, I'm averaging maybe 50 followers a day. Yeah. All the problems I keep hearing, I don't have those problems with these printers. Mm -hmm. That's the problem I understand. It's like they're getting the wrong information or taking the wrong steps or not doing enough research. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, these. I mean, I, I mean, it's not my money, but I can tell. I'm trying to give them all the the heads up. Like, you know, it's nothing wrong. If that's what you want to do, is buy a machine, and you don't want to do all that. If you don't want to do all that, if you start the, if you start your citizen. I don't want to be doing all that converting myself. That means you're not even ready for DTF because you're going to take that printer apart. You're yeah. going to have to take that head out. Mm -hmm. Eventually, it's going to print good for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, or a couple of months. But eventually, you're going to have to go inside that printer. Mm -hmm. And that's hard that everybody's not, they're not ready for that. So, you know, uh, I, I just say do a lot of research. I've seen a lot of uh, testimonials. Um, I think it was on your website, or it might have just been on your Instagram, um, of people having three, four-figure months. How does that make you feel as being the, the one at the top that's teaching and giving all this knowledge? Good question. Yeah, like I say, it just fills me. Like, last night you was on a call, I was telling them, y'all do not make me cry. So inside of my community, I meet with them twice a week. Like I'm their mentor, right? And so I'm coaching them and doing classes, still curriculum. And they were giving me my flowers on the call. Like there were new students on the call. Oh, and they're like, yeah, because T, da, da, da. And I'm like, y'all stop. Y'all about to make me cry. So seeing their wins, it just fills me up. It makes me go harder. Cause I'm like, especially when we get, when we get a new student, I'd be like, oh, shit, I got to really go in now because I want to see them win. So it just light, get, lightens me up and makes me keep going because that's what Man. I'm here for. Like if you're talking about what's, what's the pretty big print on demand? Like Printify. Yeah. Printify. The, those companies, they, they're they great in what they do. Mm -hmm. But definitely get samples before you publish it. Yeah. So that, that's the, that, that, the main reason why I did screen printing. Yeah, right. Because you know, clothing brand. Talking about clothing brand, print on demand was was it. It's in its infancy at that time. It's like okay, let's do it, and then let me get a sample. Oh man, it was just the worst samples ever. So I'm sure that they're they're better now, but definitely get samples before you um, before you put it out in the world. That's all I got to say. Um. You know, a lot of people be like, why you keep joining these programs? You know, they're not paying you. And like, I, I even got asked, you know, hey, is Gildan paying you for this? And it's like, no, it's not even about the money. It's the, it's the connections. Cause, yes. You know what I'm saying? You you get with these people, you know, these higher ups and these ex execs and stuff like that. Like, they remember you, you know what I'm saying? So you have to build that relationship with them. And it's like, it's like the reward is going to be greater than any amount of cash mm -hmm. in the long run. For sure. Okay, be back with another little message for you guys. It's a blessing to be different, honey. And make sure y'all go hit up 12 Gone Apparel. So, for a person wanting to get into DTF today, man, you keep saying the word research. Where should they start with their research? Uh, research is... Uh, Whatever groups you're in, look at the, the good and the bad. Do research on, you know, if it's something you want to do, look at all the complaints about it. Uh, it ain't for everybody, but it's it's for a lot of people. But now, like, you know, you live and you learn. I wish I would have put it back together. You, you have to maintenance it. So if you don't maintenance it, you got to know what to do to do that. Or or you got enough money to keep buying them or yeah. sit in the shop and let the Epson people bust your head with it. Or, you know, if you're into that, then go more power right. to you. You know, just picking up. So it's it's pretty cool to see, man. It really is. Yeah, really I, is. I don't, I've been watching. I think when I found you, like, just have a Google that program. Yelp stuff, anybody can say anything. Exactly. You yeah, could go in there, they could be having a bad day and then come in there and be like, hey, bad show business. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, it, it, yeah. Yeah. Yelp is, is, I see it as a scam because when, when I started my uh, my uh, my DJ business, they 
they were they wanted me to pay them to either put a, a high review or mm -hmm. um i think i had like a four star review on one and like they said hey if, if we want this if you want this taken out you have to give us so and so to take it out kind of thing right. so it's still a business if you if you guys think it that way and it shouldn't be that way you know that's why like mm -hmm. a lot of like um the yelp reviews i don't really like that. That, that's like an overnight celebrity right there type that of is. well it just like well and it wasn't even that four thousand to like 20 or twenty five thousand is that big of a jump in, mm -hmm. as far as the numbers and youtube land but it's what started rolling the success yeah. the higher views actually making some money in adsense because i was maybe making you know 50 or 75 dollars a month on adsense and then all of a sudden it was much more substantial amounts of money that you can actually feel like you're doing something in a side hustle and it literally was just something that i had noticed that the first screen printing video that i did back in march had done really well. It got twelve thousand views, which at that time was massive for me. And I was like, "Man, you didn't did something everybody can't do since we saw you last." <laughs> we get to that, 